Hello, builders of internet, and welcome to this video where today I have my old lodge of office where we. Yeah, I don't know. I don't tend to squit things on this channel. But there is just some dirt there. There didn't seem to be dirt anywhere else. Making sure it's clean, you know. I don't have a front door, but wow. That's a surprisingly solid plan. I mean, having said that. I do self-identify as a potted plant, so it would make sense that I can't just push other ones out the way, but even so, I mean, I have a pot. That should help. That should help, like, I don't know, get in the way. <laughs> Still got some bathroom floor there. Anyway, today, we are going to put down the chainsaw and join in the fight, as Weird Al told us to, and put a shower somewhere. Because this just won't do. Now, I don't know what to do about this door. Can we sell it? I guess we can. So, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I can remember what to do. Time to just knock stuff down. Turn up the volume because I've got headphones on and it, it's slightly differently leveled to if I'm using my speakers. Oof. Uh, now I'm just knocking down walls. Is this even the one I need to knock down? Who knows? But I'm knocking down a wall anyway. Right. So, this is what we've got to work with. We've got all our tools here. Not really happy to say what I use those tools for. But I use them for my, um, plant things, let's say. Those zombies aren't going to destroy themselves. Now, how on earth am I going to fit a shower in here? I may have an idea, but it won't be pretty. I thought I could just put a shower out here. Actually, I was thinking I could just put a shower out here because... It's, um... Like, no one's gonna be able to complain. You know, I do have a chainsaw after all. Do you think it got all those marks from just sitting on the desk? No. I've been places with that chainsaw. Right. We need installations, I believe. So if we go with shower, plumbing system... This seems to take up quite a bit of space. Seems to take up quite a bit of space, but I might be able to squeeze it in somewhere. Although, squeeze it in isn't really a good idea. Ooh! Oh! You can do that in Thief Simulator! There's <laughs> just some sockets there. Clearly I was in my right mind when I put them down. And... Let's see, will we be able to? We can have a shower right next to a window. I mean, that sounds like a good idea to me. And the sockets are there. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with this idea? So, I think we need to go to bathroom. We have mountable shower there, and that is, by the looks of it, the only shower we have. So, time to attempt to assemble our shower, if I can ever get my mind around these complications. Come on. No. Um, something or other? There we go. I, I never know what to do at what time. <laughs> yeah. That seems typically like what would happen when I try and install something. I feel it's just under my nose. If I had one. So, here we are. The house that is hiding something. It is hiding a weird bathroom in here now. I'm not quite sure what to make of it even. Um, can we now assemble the bath? 
it, by the looks of it, I think we're getting the idea. I am not very good at assembling things that need assembling. I mean, I'm clicking all over the place with this mouse and nothing's happening. So, that's a bit of dirt we can clean off. Open that window, close that window. Not much dirt left. Yeah, I know. Just opening and closing the window got rid of so much dirt. I wouldn't believe it if you didn't tell me. Right. I say it's time to start again. With this um, bathroom project. As we shall call it. Right yo. Where are we going? You can go over there. You can move over there too. Which will give us time and space. Why will it give us time? I'm not making sense of myself anymore. Anyway. We will somehow gain an eternity of time from doing that. I don't know how, but my mind has put the facts together. So, yeah, that's what we're going with. Now... We can miss out that corner if we absolutely must. Then we can have a weird corner bathroom. There we go. Smashy, smashy. I do like my hammers. And in here we go. Time to clean this old window. I mean, I'm turning half a living room into a bathroom. What am I doing? Maybe, actually, I think I have an idea. Maybe if we don't use this as a bathroom. I have repurposed bathrooms before, remember? Disgusting bathrooms. I've actually turned into quite nice bedrooms and living areas. So, maybe we could do the same here. I'm thinking we need something in this corner, something very precious. Because no thief would think to look in a corner. Maybe I could just have a toilet in there, but with no sink. <laughs> well, that will be quite a thing to behold. Ooh, I've just had the most brilliant idea one of me has ever had. I, I'm not sure you guys will be ready for this. But hey, when it's done, it will be brilliant. So we are going to have to... We're still going to have to move all this stuff out of the way. So it doesn't intervene with my plans for world domination. Maybe I said too much there. I'm just going to sell this old stuff. To be quite honest, I want to go with more modern factories anyway. Right, so here we have what looks like a living area and what looks like a bathroom, but I'm going to change that. So, one, two, three. I think if I smash that down, will that give me what I need? Hopefully, but again, I really don't know. Someone put me in this job and I have no idea what I'm doing. Seriously. They should be fired, not me. Right, and we can... Use, I think, this as a kind of pathway. It needs to be four kind of blocks wide to effectively walk through. I mean, what have I done? No, you can go away. I don't need you anymore. There we are. So, is this... Is this suitable for my bathroom project? Um... Okay. So, I'm going to need 
four spots here. I can walk through here, but it's three spaces and it's quite tight. So, for my bathtub, I'm going to need... Well, I'm going to need more space than that, even. I'm not sure it'll work, as I'm intending. One, two, three... No, one, two, three... Four. This should give me... An ability to place... A bathtub in here. And it will all come together eventually. I'm just hammering and destroying stuff at the moment. But it will all come together. There we are. Can open that up and walk outside. Maybe we can open the other side. Yeah, we can actually. The joys of those doors. And... How much space is there here? One, two, three, four. Right, it looks like... It looks like if I do this, maybe I should delete that as well. I don't know. One, two, three, four. So, I need... that. I've just realised this room will back into the bathroom if I haven't given my plan away already. Yes. The bathroom will be here. We have a giant glass door for everyone to stare at you. You know, I, because I'm a genius at this kind of design stuff. Really, why did no one think of it before? Bathrooms with massive windows. <laughs> ah... We need, we need an installation. We could have a shower or we could have a bath. Now, I was thinking of a bathtub. What I tried to install before, but it failed. Ooh, it will fit here, kind of. It'll fit better like that. And you can kind of look outside and feel very embarrassed, actually. But hey, that's just the way things will have to work. It's my house. Or my design of house. And we're going to need a bathtub. I think we have different bathtubs. But I think the standard mountable bathtub is more space efficient. So, hence why I will be going with this one. Oh, there's various bits and bobs. I'm actually doing it. The bathtub is actually getting into position. And I haven't messed it up yet. There we are. And another stage there. Something needs tightening, like so. And there we go. We have a bathtub in position. So... That bedroom is kind of accessed through the bathroom at the moment. I could add a door there, I guess. Given where this house has gone, it's probably the logical decision to have a door there. Even if it's not fully utilised with the bed there because of the ladder and stuff, it's still good to have... A door that is functional as opposed to the disaster of walking in on a bathroom or just getting locked in your room because someone needs to take a bath. Even though, really, let's be honest, there's a door right here and everyone can see you in the bath. <laughs> so, you know, your own family seeing you isn't anything compared to that. There's a picture just where you can't see it while you're taking a bath. <laughs> Again, I I'm brilliant at this real estate design. So, bathroom. We're going to need a toilet mount mountration 
Electronic equipment. What's day? Ooh! Should we have something quite dangerous and high voltage? Yes, this is something that needs to be in the bathroom. Perfect. So, next up, what are we gonna need? Um, house. No, we don't need house. Um, do do do. Furniture. Ah, oh, no. I don't want to go www. I'm going to need something that is mounting a toilet. Installations, that's it. I'm sorry, my mind is just all over the place and I can't remember. We can have air conditioning somewhere. There we go. Need to buy an air conditioner though. So, we need a toilet mounter. And toilet plumbing system. Yes, this guy is going to have to go to the toilet in the corner. And we've got, we've got a socket there. Gives you something to aim for in life, you know, when you build toilets near sockets. It really does give you something to aim for. Oh, oh, yes, I'm going to have to complete this. I've gone, I've gone with the outdoor door kind of thing for this. I have to complete it by just having a glass door into the bathroom. I mean, we did it with our office last time. And now people who buy our houses get the same luxury of completely transparent doors that provide no privacy whatsoever. But we will provide um, blocks up here to give people privacy because, you know, we're just weird like that. And overall, this is quite good. Got no sink, though. I can think we could squeeze the sink in here, plus it's near some electrical sockets, which is always good. And that would make it forced that you use the door around here, which I guess could work. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's looking at this point like there's no other way to do things. We're going to have to just sell this door and... Demolish our lintels, do I call them? There we go. So we can now mount the wall up. There we go. Overall, I think I've tidied this house up somewhat. Now, I'm going to need to get into this weird corner room, but that can wait for a moment. Oh, I've shut myself out the bathroom. Where is my toilet selection? I need a selection of toilets. Bathroom. Let's use this toilet. Give them a fancy toilet, make them feel fancy even though really they're just in a tiny corner of the room. Because it's the only space we could find to mount a toilet. I mean, to be honest, that's quite a protected area of the room. Which is what you want when you're using a toilet. I should have put the sink there, but hey, I don't think ahead too well. Installations. We need a... Um... We could have a towel radiator. Hmm. Towel radiator plumbing system. Okay. Let's have this round here. Yes. Just crammed in there behind the toilet. Make it feel really claustrophobic when it comes to headroom. And then, the towel radiator can go like so. Just barely gets in there. Between the two walls, that is. Boop. 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 And there we are. 
So, next up we're going to need the sink installation or plumbing system, whatever you might call it. I mean, it's quite space efficient this, provided I don't go with a massive sink. So I guess that's a good thing, but, you know, <laughs> we should have had the toilet where it could have been seen easily. Because, you know, that's always what people want these days. People have moved on past regular doors, you know. Regular doors are for the weak. Privacy is for the weak, obviously. Still. There we are. So we've got everything you could need in your bathroom. We've got a toilet, we've got a radiator, we've got a sink, we've got a bathroom, and a computer. No monitor, but we've got a computer. Oh, how could I forget? We need more electronic equipment, meaning we need a TV. Oh, and what have I done? I've messed up. Um, needs to be a wall mountable TV. Because otherwise it won't fit one. Yeah, sure. I'll mount one, I'll mount one like that, you know, sideways. It means you can't use it, but hey, it's an extra hazard for when you're washing your hands. We have our bathroom with glass in. <laughs> Just, yeah, get ready to see some smashy goodness. Through this wall we go. One, two, three, four. If I could squeeze a door in here, although I somehow think that's not going to work, but if I could, then we're going to have a nice living room here. It actually works better than you might have thought, too. I mean, there's some space here. If we look at the bathroom as well, there's some space there where we need it. I'm surprised, to be honest, how cramped this bathroom is not. I, I expected worse. And I can probably demolish that. It's not really doing anything. Like, just demolish that and extend the space behind it. It'll free up a bit of hall space overall. Make it feel airier in here. Maybe I could have another bedroom. So, how much space do I have? One, two, three. I can't really fit more there. As such, but... I could fit something, I reckon. A radiator, whatever. How much space have I got? One, two, three, four, one. Yeah, it's, it's a bit too tight, I reckon, if I did try and fit a bedroom. I could fit a sofa or a bed, but I just couldn't have an entire separate room for it. So, furniture. Uh, I thought I said sofa radion. I have a radion, but, you know. Couch Tony, one of the cheaper ones, sure. Let's just get a pink one. Or, should we get a pink one? Will it even fit effectively? No. I don't think it will. I think we need something slightly smaller. Ooh. Let's get a weird cow sofa or something. Yes, this is good. It's kind of a nice, nicer place to relax away from the rest of the house. And there's still enough space to just about hold it. If I have a wall TV on there as well, I will have formed, in a way, a second living area. Because... These days, there's always those shows on television that are just annoying. <laughs> if not annoying for one person, they're annoying for the next person. So, yeah, trying to make a house that works for multiple people. I think that's what to do. Should I bulldoze that wall a bit? No. It would free up space, but it just wouldn't look as tidy. Now... I need to put these um, lintels here. 
there what will separate the room. I think I've done a decent enough job of this house. Apart from the fact it hasn't got a kitchen, which I have only just realised. Oh, has it? Oh, it has got a kitchen. I take that back. I built that kitchen last episode, yet I couldn't remember it. So I've been so, so very stupid. Anyway, that's sorted. I was worried I was going to have to turn this into a kitchen and then I wouldn't have a living room at all besides perhaps this kind of hallway. Still, looks like I need a television again. Electronic equipment. Hanging TV. All my money's going to be spent on hanging TVs. Oh, it's, it's the wrong way up. There we go. My mind is at peace now. How will I fit a hanging TV here? I wonder. As a matter of fact, I can use that wall. So, I guess it depends how much space a sofa will take up. Just buy one now. Yay! That's the way we want it to be. Furniture. We can have quite a large sofa. Black or grey legs. Lever. Ooh, well, being the Core 2 Duo channel, we have to get a blue sofa. It barely fits, but it will do. As a matter of fact, why do I keep saying that? <laughs> Probably just the age. Still. This will work. It's not the ideal solution, but you know. It will give me some extra space. And we can have that stop turning it that way up. I don't want it that way up. Right, and now we can go and uh, smash these walls to pieces. Right, yo. So one, two, three, four. Now we have, we've reached the epitome of not quite working in us. Need to move a television. There we go. I mean, I'll be honest. You can see the television from there. It's not an ideal positioning, but I guess that if it has to do, it has to do. I mean, I've tried to fit some of the nicest stuff in that I can. We could have a stylish stool. So very stylish, but not small enough. There's a square table modern. I need like a kid's chair to go on the end of a sofa. That would be good. There we go. Only I don't actually want that colour. Yes. Perfect. Perfect to contrast with the colour of the sofa. And that gives us the furnishing. Furniture, yes. <laughs> I made a word. Furniture we wanted. I think, oh dear. Where's he? 
No. So we go there. Like so. You can't even see it from here, but you know, there's at least one seat where you can see it. Anyone else will have to go out here and watch it, I guess. Open and close. So, that's that, as far as this place is concerned. We have a children's seat that just stares at a wall. You know what, we need decorations. We need something that the children can look at. And... <laughs> what pictures are there? Hmm... Yes, this is, this is perfect. Perfect art for the children to look at. Chill out in your man cave. Okay. Well, I think I've got better uh, ratings from the family for that. <laughs> you know? Oh, they're like, wait, we don't like that picture actually. We just changed our mind instantly. Fine, I'll add some plants. See how you like that. They're going to block the television, but then... Nothing good on there these days anyway, unless you use smart TV. <laughs> then you can watch me! Ooh, this one has a pink thingy. It's so masculine. There we go. I think this needs to move across a bit. No! That needs to go upstairs. Upstairs? No, there's no upstairs. This is upstairs. So, here we are back in the office and, well, you may wonder why I am suddenly here. The reason for that is actually quite simple. The video recording before, it just stopped happening. I don't know why. But it was just suddenly, it just suddenly went bad and stopped happening. Now, I have to, um, destroy these things because I have to get to the shower. And I think before they were getting in the way. Now, I could be wrong and just throw money away, but it seemed like the most likely factor. So you can attach around here when I've sorted that out. And... Indeed, yes, I have managed to get this fitted. Need to make sure all the screws are tightened. And then we can have our cheapo shower joys. Come on. And these need to go screw into place. Probably won't properly fit into the bathroom, but you know, I do what I can. Put another one here, and I think that should be about it. Oh no, we've got this lower plate to do. Ooh, it's not quite enough space. What can I do about that, eh? You know what, I think the best idea is just sell this bed. I mean, it's not like anyone else is going to be living here. <laughs> As I'll just make a stupid decision there by having a bed there that large in the first place. Admittedly, it was the one that came with a house and I'm cheap and all that, but still, we need some nice furniture. I'm going, I did sell the house, by the way, that's why I can't go back to it now. It is, it is sold, but I didn't do much more to it. I just put doors round and then sent it on the sale. Now, this has a desk. So this should be quite a good option. And it can go round here. Makes it a bit difficult to get up when the ladder is in the corner, though. I wonder now. 
I think if I move this as well to like there. Still got all the tools to step on. But that's okay. I can get rid of the old desk as well now because we have one on the desk, one on the bed rather. Can still fit the chainsaw, so we're all good as far as that's concerned. Come on, got to find a location to fit my chainsaw. Oh dear. So it doesn't look like it's going to be that easy. I need to keep my chainsaw somewhere. How about the windowsill? No. I think I can keep it under, maybe. Well, that that will have to do. <laughs> it's about as good as I can do for the chainsaw. Just drop the axe in there. This storage tray can go on top of here. And we can have our mouse. There we are. We need our... We need our saw. For when we're doing Linux hardware installations. <laughs> or maybe something a little more sinister than that. Like... I don't know. There we are. Now we can build our walls. We are going to build a wall. A wall. It will be the mightiest wall in the whole land. Sell that. I'm going to just leave those tools on the floor right now. There's not much else I can do with them. There we are. Can spill that on my laptop whenever I feel a bit upset. Oh, the light's in an inconvenient position. Most of this office now is just bathroom. That's mostly what it is. The upside of having a large desk like this, I can fit more of my um, items on there to do, to do the stuff that I do. And these can go somewhere there. Yep. Doesn't look near as tidy as it did before. But hey. <laughs> what are you going to do? Complain? Because I'll be getting the chainsaw out of you complaining. So, we need more things here. We are getting a complete-ish bathroom though. It doesn't actually seem very claustrophobic in here as I would have expected. Ooh, that light seemed to get in my way. But I think I was just imagining it. This kitchen equipment is quite tight in there. I mean, I don't need this much space for my bathroom, but... So that's how it's ended up going. I mean, what can I say? I could have another uh, work surface here, actually. For some kitcheny stuff, if I needed to. And we need some of these. There we go. This is a really racky house. But the door opens fully. And that's all that matters at this stage. Right. So we're going to need a... Door. Ooh, we can get a Christmas door. Hmm. Cabinet with glass doors. Yeah. 
actually, yeah. You know what? Because this is my office, I'm going to need this on the bathroom. <laughs> How could we not have one of these on the bathroom? Before, I mean, that was just so stupid of me. It's a <laughs> fallout shelter. It's also a very, very stinky place. So, yeah, it's not to be taken lightly. I've just realised how close we get to the window there. I didn't quite want that. Ooh, we can buy a towel radiator. Well, since we've got the fitting, I might as well. Installations. Considering I'm exporting and doing a gameplay video, my PC isn't lagging. Yay, I got lucky, I know. There we go. There we are. Oh dear. Right, I may have a secret way of doing this. If it lets me do it that way. <laughs> kind of got a leak at the moment though. Really, this window won't open. It's very, very strange. And now apparently I want to paint something. You know what? I'm not a very, I'm not a very good handyman. I'm just going to leave that as it is for the time being. With a massive leak on the floor. And I'm going to put a front door on it. And see how it goes. So, what do we have? A double door refrigerator. <laughs> That's not quite what I'm looking for. We can have a glass door. Sure, let everyone see all our valuables that they could steal. Ooh, maybe if, if I can actually do this as I'm thinking, I can. Oh. I was thinking for a moment that I could, like, put double double-sided doors on because they have to be bulletproof so the coppers can't catch me <laughs> anyway I've built the office up and I've built a house up some of which you didn't see probably because my hard drive ran out of space or something I don't know but no the video isn't recorded to a hard drive so it's recorded to a secondary SSD I don't know <laughs> I, I, I don't computer very well so anyway, here we've got our stuff, all of our man tools on there, other than this, which for some reason won't go on there. Oh, can I? Oh, yes, there we go. Just about squeeze it behind the laptop. Other than the chainsaw, then, everything is on there, which is convenient for, you know, whatever I might want to do, dangerous or not. We've got a leak right near where we use a laptop conveniently. So I'm going to call this a day now. Turn the light on. And I'm going to say goodbye until another day.